Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to create form view in Odoo and what is the purpose of the form view we will see in this discussion and in case you missed previous discussion about how to implement aggregation operator in the list view, link is given in description and if you want to learn more about Odoo with different views then you can go to here in the playlist. In this playlist you can see this Odoo views, GUI frontend view. So here you can see list of all the available views at the default views provided by Odoo with the real test case and uh, if you are following this playlist then you don't need to follow any other playlist related to Odoo because this is the main playlist here and apart from this like you have these two playlists also python tips and editor related tips and for the Odoo development if you want to learn specific topic wise then you can use this playlist and if you have any doubt and need any support so you can go to about page and here you can send your query to this email address so let's make to our main topic like how we can create form view here so first thing is why we need to create a form view in the odoo because like whenever you create any new record that time like form view will helpful Plus, like if you want to update any specific record, that time also form view is also available. And for the view purpose, also you can use the form view for the specific record only. Let's say if I'm going to here in the student profile, or let's say I want to see this a Weblands Odoo record, then simply I click to here, and I can see all the details for this Weblands Odoo student here like what is the hobby list then after what is the fees and total fees here if this student is active or not like this uh, and then after we have like specific operations also here we can perform like this way right not only for this model like if you say for the cells and let's say for the cells order one i want to see more detail you can see like okay this is the sales order name and this is the customer here then after we have like list of products whatever they buy and this is the total and if they have like all the informations related for this specific record you can see here in the form view so this is the purpose actually you can also create using click create button and if you want to edit this existing record then you can click to this edit button so like this way we can create such attractive form view so by default if you see here in the uh, in this student profile like let's say this weblands odo if you see the difference between these two model as a gui only not a data a data wise you can see this is not a good looking right compared to this sales view here sales order view here so we are trying to create such view with different task cases in this discussion we are trying to create form view only then after we will implement such decorations like how we can add this header part how we can add also this chatter part and how we can implement this notebook then after how we can also add like this this fancy buttons here like this Plus the main thing is how you can also group for the specific fields here like this way. We will see all the detail session in our upcoming all the session. So today we will see like how we can create form view only for the student profile. So let me go to an editor and let me open the student module then after views and here views.xml file so in our last sessions like we already done this how to create a list view plus different test cases now we will focus more about form view only like you can see this is our form view for the student profile but let me create a new form view for the student profile here so first thing is like we need to always use such tag here like if you want to create any view 
like let's a uh, uh, list view form view kanban view calendar view search view or any other views then you have to implement like this under this record tag this is the main tag then after here we need to provide a unique id here i mean like user defined unique id then after here in this model attribute we have to provide always fix value ir ui dot view like this all right like let's say i'm creating here student form view then after like we have to provide some specific fields only oh sorry like name like model like arch type equal to xml and here the form so you can see this is the okay forgot about this one so this is the standard structure like whenever you create any view in the odoo in any version like let's say in older version or in the newer version like you have to mention like this way only so here we have to provide user defined name here we have to define the model name the actual model name and here simply like we need to use like form oh, sorry like form let's say if i'm creating a list view then after i have to create list if i have to create search view then i have to create a search if i have to use kanban view like i have to use like this way so simply like whatever the for, uh, whatever the view you have to mention you have to mention under this arch ar architecture view only in this field only under this field you have to mention view name only rest part as it is if you see here like you can see this record we also have the same thing right here then after you can see the field name then after the model and arch you can see your name model and arch and after like we have to mention the list view like this way like we are creating a form view so we have to mention the specific view only all right so you have to remember this one so here simply in the name field like we have to mention here as a unique name uh, like let's say if you provide here this id with the underscore so simply you can use student instead of the underscore you can use dot form dot then after view and here like for which model we are creating a form view so simply like we are creating a student student models form view so simply we have to go to here in the student profile and you can see underscore name whatever underscore name we provide this is the model name here so we have to use this one here like school dot student and in case you add any wrong name and which is not also available in odoo i mean here in the model level then it will rise the error all right so like this and simply like we will add here the field name like name equal to name then after field name equal to uh, here let's see the roll number like let's say the school underscore id so i'm not using any random random names here so whatever field name i mention here like roll number name school id the those fields i have to mention here if i mention any other field name which is not available here then odoo also writes the error like this field is not available in this model so let's say i'm trying to create this form view and let's say this existing form view i'm trying to comment so simply what happened like it will override this to this
like restart the service plus upgrade the module why i'm trying why i say upgrade the module because here you can see i'm using this pycham auto service start stop restart and you can see in my configuration i already mentioned the database name plus minus u as upgrade the module which module like school underscore student module it will automatically upgrade so you can see here it's already upgraded here this module so like this way you can also configure and uh, this configuration session also available in our playlist you can just check in the odoo setup or editor setup playlist now i'm going to browser and trying to refresh the page so you can see we successfully created a form view but you can see it's not looks as good right like this so we are trying like odoo supports one group system like if you mention that such groups it will automatically also add a label name but you can see here right now after this form view we already mentioned the fields so due to that like it's display like this way in inappropriate order right like let's say i want to display like this web learns after this content then after after this roll number and then after like this school school name then what we have to do like we have to implement like as a grouping group wise so simply you have to remember group is simple uh, div tag but uh, we are not actually using the div like this but we are using this group all right after like we need to upgrade the module one more time and trying to go to in front end side and trying to refresh the patch you can see now it's display with the label also the label name right and this is the fields now you can choose from here also you can click to discard and you can also try to create a new record like this one now might be you surprised why this name automatically update uh, appear here especially like when you create when you click to create button like this button because we already implemented default value for this specific field so let's say this name and the default value whatever you mention here it will automatically add in the front end side so don't confuse this one so like this way you can create a form view i hope you understood like how to create a form view and in case you have any doubt related this session please comment below and see you in next session